Wednesday, October something fucking 2016, and this is the news. Uh, a fucking idiot threw his clock out of the window the other day. Uh-huh. You know, uh, time flies. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Woo! that's where they was going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, <clears> you know, when sports, I was a kid, I didn't know. Adam's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he got, <laughs> that was good. He just got dunked on, <laughs> yeah. dude. That was a tomahawk, which yeah. is you, funny because usually jamma. people dunk their balls in his mouth. Uh, I did Lewis's podcast earlier today. I'm nice. podcasting. Wait, did you bring up the fact that he stole the Puerto yeah. Rican rattlesnake? I heard he that he's conce- he concedes it. He just let it go. He oh, let it go. Yeah, that's good. Knows. Well, he should do something for us now. Like he uh, owes us back royalties. Yeah, yeah. Because we're all the Puerto Rican. Like some sort of he was like, he was like, he was like, what was your, what's your plan with that home improvement team? <laughs> He's like, you know, you're just gonna get sued. It's, it's like you're making money now. You're, gonna get, you're definitely gonna get sued by that guy. And by uh, which guy? Tim Allen or the yeah. guy who wrote? Well, the- my plan is to go to court and be like, no, I wrote the song for. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude! <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, that was me. I did it first. Could we change like, it? There's like, plenty of evidence that says that he didn't. And I'm like, they're lying. They're wrong. Yeah, I Could guess. we change it like one percent, and then would that be okay? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a fucking laws. lawyer. I can justify ch- it in my head, but that doesn't mean anything. Could we chop and screw it? Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah. Boom, the thing is, boom, it's like boom. it is. It's basically boom. fair use. I mean, every nobody's listening to that. Nobody's listening to the podcast to hear that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest way to get your hands on the, the Home Improvement <laughs> theme song. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to our podcast. <laughs> I pay five dollars a month <laughs> so I can hear a goddamn Home Improvement theme song. I, cut, I, I stop listening after a minute thirty. What do you, I think what you mean is listening to the Come Town theme song that Nick wrote first. Yeah, yeah that's true. Adam. Yeah, that's true. You should know better. I think but it was yeah. actually Philip Glass that did the well, I Home do, Improvement I did, theme song. Uh, Lewis's podcast and Lewis apparently I guess he's like just never watched a football game in his entire life. <laughs> what? Why? What do you mean? Yeah, he's like, well, I I didn't realize that the only thing he's into is MMA. Yeah. He doesn't like any other sport. No, no, no. Really? Yeah, yeah, but I mean he has like a level of ignorance about the sport that's like Really? Yeah, he's like, you know, like he doesn't know. MMA's only been around for like five downs. years. Like he doesn't understand the basic rules of football. <laughs> what has he been doing with his life? I don't know. He I was like know. an emo kid, wasn't he? Well, he was like, he was like, well, my dad was murdered, so I never really, I couldn't watch football with my dad. And it's like, yeah, but it's still dad, on. Yeah, it's my dad's on Greek. TV. He doesn't. He's never watched football in his life. There's still yeah. like the biggest television event of the year <laughs> once a year, the Super Bowl. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are having Super Bowl parties. What do you yeah. think he goes there? And he's like. Well, you're, you're like afraid. forced to play football as a kid. Yeah, I, mean, I don't understand touch, yeah. how you can't understand like at in least the basic rules the, of the game. Yeah, my mom used to come to my fucking football games, and she didn't understand football at all. She would just cheer during kickoffs because I did the kickoffs, and she'd be like, "Yeah, you did. Or, were you on special teams, or you, you were the kicker? I was the kicker. Oh, I was the kicker yeah. and defensive and the nose guard, baby. Ooh. I was getting all up in them cheeks." No, I mean, that's like the center of the defensive that's line. That's right, my friend. And uh, you better believe I, I fucked some shit up until a giant fucking 6'5", 380-pound kid just fucked my shoulder up big time. Yeah. Is that why you're fat now? <clears throat> yeah, so ever, you, since yeah. Then, you ever since you then, ever since then, I got athlete. fat. I used to, well, first of all, I'm an athlete. Thank you. I can run faster than everyone in here. I doubt and, that. Uh, I, I'm almost positive I could beat you in a foot race. And uh, I can also jump higher, and I fuck longer and stronger and better. That's not true. Mm. It is true. I don't understand why we have to, like, pretend that I don't. people aren't, you know, just dying. We're all dying, baby. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, faster. No, I have... I have, I have Extra energy f- to fuck. Yeah, you've been reading too much Lindy West. Pal. <laughs> I get all my health advice from Lindy West's yeah, yeah. health, health blog. <laughs> I love how fat she's gotten. I love how the, the, she's even bigger. <clears throat> oh yeah, she's she's enormous. like rockabilly fat. 
Uh, she's one of those rockabilly yeah. fat girls. <laughs> right. She's that's she a specific like the cherry her, red yeah. hair curl. That's her dream is to be like yeah, it says pin up fat girls, but if you put their picture on the wall, the whole fucking house will collapse. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pin them on. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's so mean. just pulled down. <laughs> it's a load bearing picture. <laughs> <laughs> don't hang don't hang up that picture when he was on a load bearing wall oh, yeah. whatever you do <laughs> that wall is structural <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, fuck. you're fucking up the structural integrity of the building. <clears throat> yeah, she's a huge bitch. B I B I T C. <laughs> that would be a good uh, way to 9/11 some buildings there. Just hang up. <laughs> yeah, just hide uh, treats in them. Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, while Lindy's around, <laughs> do I smell treats that I deserve? <laughs> I smell something I deserve. She's just blast through walls yeah. like uh, I earned this, like the IDF in Gaza, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, explode into Through people's living rooms, <laughs> Kool Aid made her yeah. way through America. Oh God, well that's good. I that do love when, way to when fat people shame someone with legitimately bad opinions for their appearance and yeah. not her. <laughs> yeah, but her opinions are it's normal and healthy to be extremely fucking fat and unhealthy. Right, that's the thing. It's like I love when people not claim picking, they're being healthy. Right. Yeah, I'm not picking any fat person and shitting on them for being fat. Yeah, Except this for is stuff. this is a shame. Yeah, no, this, this is my friend. It's a joke. I. Uh, it's not a joke. What You're a fucking joke, dude? Dude, what? You guys <laughs> Your are whole joking. life is a joke. Um, I I am shame. I'm ashamed to be. A uh, fat man. I, I'm not ashamed, but like you have to realize you're dying. Like you really are. Like the fucking you're unhealthy. Mm-hmm. I feel bad. Like yeah. when I lose weight, everything feels bad. Like yeah. my joints hurt. I'm fucking 27 years old. Really? Like there's no reason for me. Yeah, to but fucking... my joints hurt too, and I'm not overweight. Yeah, but you were fucking. You were getting the shit kicked out of you by fucking motorcycle brother time you had a rough you had a couple rough that's years right there. i was in the kumite <laughs> yeah. i forgot yeah, yeah that's true the chinese. sugar ray kumite yeah. <laughs> he lost the to chinese that guy the, the chinese guy fucking took my bandana and stomped on my head <laughs> Who, didn't Panther everyone guy? die in kumite wasn't that part of it uh, the, yeah only one guy lives the winner yeah, yeah nobody nobody died i mean he, may, he may have killed i mean i know john claude van damme knew the touch of death that he did oh wait! I thought in mock. that movie everyone dies no. when they lose. No, did you just get the shit kicked out? Of you? Really? Yeah. I mean, but but John Claude Van Damme's secret move was dim mock the touch of death, where mm. he would fucking make a flat po- do a mm. palm strike to the chest. Yeah, and he could hit you so hard that your like heart like pushed out of your back. Or yeah, 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 yeah. But he, yeah, and he did that to Bola Yuang. Right. And uh, he was a bully. Yeah. The he guy who just blows it. sand mm-hmm. in people's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be I love that move in wrestling too, where it was always like a fucking dastardly Asian who would fucking yeah. spit something in your eye yeah. or like that would be my move if I was in wrestling. Okay, Cheating. USA. That's yeah. the best guy in the movie. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah. Okay, USA. I, I also who are the thing. Are the guys the FBI agents that try to get, bring him back to the states? Are those famous guys? Yeah, it's, yeah, they uh, were in. Uh, who is it? No, it's fucking. It's uh, not Danny Glover. No, it's uh, Forrest Whitaker. It's Forrest, yes, Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. And uh, that's right. And was it one of the guys from fucking Beverly Hills Cop? Maybe I can't remember the other guy. It was, Forrest but it definitely Whitaker. was Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, yeah, that's Before right. Before the eye went crazy. Yeah, yeah. I love the other the other woman too. That's like. I'm a journalist with Vanity Fair. Here yeah. To come yeah. With that. <laughs> 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 Name's uh, Liz Reporter. <laughs> Liz Reporter Stein. And I'm here, I'm here to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah, like cover the Kumite. <laughs> That's, uh, we were actually just talking about Bloodsport on Lewis's podcast. That's crazy. It's yeah. almost like it was in your mind. Yeah. And it came up. And it's like I, you know, all roads lead to Bloodsport. Um, I love that shit, dude. But I thought everyone fucking died. It makes I l- thought a less everyone cool died movie. Too. Nah, man, the, the <coughs> uh, uh, ogre doesn't even die. He just gets his fucking head stomped on, and then he's in like a hospital bed. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Like, I need You're my right. bandana back. Yeah. Got to wait. That's the guy from Revenge of the Nerds, <coughs> right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Ogre's in it. Ogre yeah. plays the biker who does American-style fighting. <laughs> <laughs> which is where you wear a bandana and then fucking... <laughs> you, you punch three or four times very hard and then you die of fucking heart failure <laughs> <laughs> while painting fantasy art on the side of your panel van. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck, I loved every kind we of We have style. an illegal meth operation 
coming out of that van. I love the fucking the fucking. Uh, did we talk about this? I feel like we did. What? H- haven't we talked about Kumite? I'm sure. Yeah, we've talked about Bloodsport. Because <clears throat> I watched it recently, and I I just love all the fucking the Arab fighters. Well, there's, there's no actual style. They just have yeah, well, they do, TV yeah, of all each, time. Uh, it's a, each race is like there's a black guy that's literally just a monkey. Yeah, yeah the the African <laughs> style. We definitely he talked hops about around. around. I yeah. remember the this Scottish guy. guy is just the fucking you know the Notre Dame. Yeah, the <laughs> fighting <laughs> Irish guy. They fight with their fists upside down because they're drunk. Um, um, yeah, I don't fucking. I was just in the Staten Island ferry. Do you know they have like a British themed fast food restaurant? I guess they have fish really? and chips on the too. ferry. No, in the little, uh, you know, that yeah, terminal. Yeah, 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 the terminal. On which side? Uh, the Staten Island side? No, the New York side. The New York side. And it's so funny they have that. I got my bag sniffed by those bomb sniffing dogs. Oh, really? And it's like, I get it. It's in New York, but like, who's going to bomb the Staten Island <laughs> ferry? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. want these fucking Guidos not to get to work. Yeah. What? Uh, there's no other. Like, that's it, right? People just commute on the Staten Island Ferry, just use it to fucking cheaply look at the Statue of Liberty. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I mean, I take that, I ride it in the, you know. In you the ride fall. it a lot. No, not a lot. Maybe two or three times a year. It's a good way to kill, like, an hour and a half it's for nice. free. I tell you, it's nice. It's nice. When, it's, when it yeah. first starts to get cold out, you just go out on the deck and shit, look at the city. Kiss your boyfriend. And yeah. each other's yeah. yeah. Beat yep. it off to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> yep. There it is, boys. <laughs> the Statue of Lib- Liberty Anzo. It was a gift from Italy. The Italians gave it to America for being second best. <laughs> the second best country after Italy, where the women are 200 feet tall and they got the biggest fucking titties you can ever see. <laughs> but they got small pussies. They got small pussies. Season, you can fuck them. <laughs> I like it's Pacino by the end. Yeah, well, I mean, he's Italian. Yeah, it counts. Yeah. Pacino. Apollonia. Al- Albatore Pacino. Gentlemen. Oh, I beat off to Apollonia. Look at that statue. Wait, did Apollonia from The Godfather have weird nipples? She did. I, she had very, I distinctly remember her very, nipples being weird. They were awesome, though. They were cool. They were, like, soft. They were, like, kind of conical. She had... She had big nipples for her titty. Like, there was titty meat on her nipples. Right. I feel you know like her I mean? nipple... That was they exactly. call that a puffy nipple. It was, yeah. a puffy puffy nipples. Nipples. It was a very puffy nipple. I remember those, those were some of my first puffy nips. Absol- absol- I yeah. think those were my first puffy Formative nips. Formative puffy nips. I think I saw... Because I watched The Godfather when I was like 11. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was the first... It's part two. I wonder if that was the first titty yeah. I saw. Probably not. No, I think but Airplane was titty. the first movie titties I saw. Airplane. Well, whose titties are in an airplane? Just some bitch. Just a she runs by the screen, shakes her titties at the screen. Hell yeah, dude. Apollonia. But yeah, Apollonia was a bad bitch. Yeah, she bad looked bitch. good, dude. Um, um, and then he had to go back to fucking Candace Bergen, Murphy Brown. <laughs> that stupid cunt. I smashed Candy. <laughs> yeah, she Candy looked good Bergen. back then. She looked good. She looked good. I didn't beat off to her, though. Oh, okay. Take that off the spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah. Very progressive show. Murphy Brown. Trouble in 1994 when she uh, she had an abortion on the show. <laughs> she, she had a live she abortion on yeah, Murphy on, Brown. On air. She's yeah. on the yeah on, on the Bergen <laughs> yeah, actually surgeon's table. Yeah, mm-hmm. she got. She did it old school style with the hanger and the in a back alley no, type yeah, situation. Yeah, they, they get the guy from the Nick. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first step is you yeah, throw her Clyde, down a flight of Clyde, stairs. Oh, yeah, the ambulance driver. <laughs> I'll do your abortion for you. <laughs> Where's my billy club? <laughs> I'll cloak her over the head like she's one of them shines. She carries bodies down in the basement. <laughs> don't let, don't let sister, sister McQueen find out. He's always got shit going on with that nurse. Yeah, like he, that's their he main smashes, beef on the right? show. Nah, he does No, the, it's the old nun. They just old, become best friends. I don't. Do they? Yeah, because she starts making Jimmy hats out of pigs' bladders. Yeah, the, the really? Nun, the nun? Maybe it's season two. The Catholic nun makes yeah, Jimmy yeah. hats. Yeah, yep, yep. And then she gets excommunicated. Wait, you only saw season one. I didn't one? see that. Oh, for making Jimmy hats? For making Jimmy hats. 
They had Jimmy for back the then? boys pricks. <laughs> <laughs> the boys need something to come in, sister. <laughs> oh man, imagine. I mean, I don't want to use condoms now. Imagine if you had to fucking put your dick in a fucking pig intestine in an fuck. intestine. That's hooked up to an X-ray machine for some reason. <laughs> I've given them all to Chang's girls <laughs> down in Chinatown. I've never seen a Chang's girls whores. Yeah. Nice. Everyone, in that, every woman on that show is a prostitute. <laughs> there's nice. a there is a funny scene. There's a scene where there's like um there's a race riot. There's an episode where there's a race riot, and they're like, uh, what's the head of it? Like the head of administration at a hospital called that nerdy guy with the yeah the like blonde the, nerdy guy the head administrator. Yeah. And he's like in love with this prostitute, and he owes all this money. Oh to yeah, the, the fourteen year old. Yeah, prostitute. and he's like Jesus secretly Christ. in love with this fourteen year old prostitute, and he owes all this money to the mob. And there's like a race ride episode and they're all locked up in the hospital. They're like, oh, I got it uptown. They're throwing all the girls out in the street. You know, it's fair game for everybody. And like the nerd guy is just stares blankly for a second and then just rushes out of the door. He's like knocking shit over. He's like, nobody leaves until, until I get back. It's very funny. I mean, it's I mean, it's supposed to be. It's a comedically timed. That guy is my favorite character. Yeah, that on the show, the pathetic the weasel. Yeah, weasel. You relate to yeah. him? I, yeah. He does, in yeah love with I would. Prostitute. Yeah, I would. Uh, Divert all my soul and funds from my own family to a yeah. seventeen-year-old prostitute that I was in love with. My, my hero on the show is the rich white woman that fucks the black guy in the basement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, she's progressive. Yeah, it's nice. Man. She's the the rich uh, daughter. Algy. Algernon. Is that his name? Algernon Edwards. Oh, well, is the doctor. I hope the, uh, this is a black doctor's name, Algernon. There's I a, just I didn't know that. I, yeah, I didn't know his name was short for Algernon. Uh, I hope there's an episode where they give him, <laughs> they make him white, <laughs> and then suddenly he's much better at surgery, and they're like, he's a genius, and then he's like, slowly there's like spots appearing, Reverse. and they're like, oh no, he's turning back into a rat. <laughs> Wait, there's a black doctor? Yeah. Yeah. What? There's a black doctor, because he's like, the oh, the guy who owns the hospital, like the benefactor that, you know, like- It's his carriage driver's son. Yeah. He it, sends him to the finest what year institutions. Is it? It's okay. uh, it's supposed to be 1900. 1900. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. 1899, all right. like 1901. All right. All right. And she, and so Algy gets his dick sucked by some rich white woman. Huh? Yeah. You know, what's crazy. He lays you look outside. They film it all right here. They film right. it in this neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. The hospital's like right around the corner. Nice. So you yeah, think yeah. This lady by, <laughs> by Eric's house. So we're yeah. close to where the, those late. Eric should be on the show. Out. I feel personally. You talked to him the other day. Yeah. He came to the show. Did he drop any knowledge? Uh, nah, he just went off again about how the David Cross episode was bad. Yeah. <laughs> fucking retard. Dude, you guys fucking sucked on that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get him on and bully Dude, him. Dude, I listened to your David Cross episode. That shit fucking sucked. <laughs> 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 oh, nice to see you, dude. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I would. I would be. I would. I would like having our friends on and bullying them. We get Eldis on. We should get Marty on and confront him. <laughs> Fuck Marty, dude. <laughs> Did you squash that beef with him yet? Um, I mean, I fucking yelled at him. I'm that kid's dead. You guys talked. I did, I thought I told you this. No. Yeah. For listeners not aware, uh, Marty fucked Savros's mom, <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't do. A good, he came too quick, and I'm mad that he didn't yeah. fuck her good enough. Um, yeah, fuck Marty, dude. I don't give a fuck about. Do you want to do a Marty character on the show? You have a guy named No, dude. I would never do that. <laughs> named Toddy. <laughs> Toddy shithead. Marine Todd. <laughs> Marine. Yeah, you I could. would never. I would never do that. Oh, you it's like, it's gonna, no, it's going to be more different than your regular voice. You know, I can't like, do a Marty. Oh, here comes the character I'm doing. You can't do this if it's real uh, shit. It's me, it's me. Why not? The fuck other Marty. guy. I mean, I don't give a fuck about Marty, but yeah, why the fuck? Yeah, I don't care. We could do a character. I mean, but no. I could do a character. No, really we can't. <laughs> Guys, we can't do it. Do him. Sal. It just sounds like Eric. So there's one banana. <laughs> yeah, he's just talking about shrooms and bananas for 40 minutes. So I was eating mushrooms the other day, and I realized that bananas are the most important fruit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and then and then Kyle Martin shows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, why didn't you move to Leesburg? <laughs> yeah, that's such a good My impression. That's incredible. That no one her. knows. Yeah. That's <laughs> incredible. Our friend Kyle Martin who why lives in L.A. now. There? Yeah, yeah, shout out to Nick is doing one of 
of his bits from three years ago. <laughs> Longer than that, like five yeah. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you move there? <laughs> can anybody do foodie? Who else has distinctive voices? I, I can. Everybody can approximate foodie. He's tough to do exactly. Yeah. And people can do his cadence, but they can't. All right. This is bad content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is really bad. We this need to go back to, to, to Nick. Yeah, let's go. Let's recap shows more. Yeah. Have you guys been watching Westworld? No. This yeah. show sucks a dick. <laughs> I've, I've this is a bad it. fucking show. I saw the first three episodes, and What'd I'm probably going to watch all of it. It's it's one of those bad shows where I'm going to watch all of them. Yeah. I'm oh, going to feel, I I feel like I should. I feel like I should fucking watch it it's now fucking to retarded. have an opinion. It's retarded. I fell asleep during the last one. I woke up, and then, like, there's Satan there. There's Satan now? Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah, the old guy put Satan in the game. Ooh, very scary. <laughs> Yo, there's a lot of... <laughs> should we do a spooky Halloween episode? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, this one's going up tonight. Oh, okay. We should, the bonus one should be a spooky Halloween episode. Yeah. Um, let's tell ghost stories. Well, we tell a okay. scary story. Adam, what's your favorite ghost story? Tell uh, us. My favorite ghost story? Um... <laughs> How about, okay, so there was a guy, a man. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this man, you know, he'd been living in this town his whole life, and it was a pretty quiet town, you know, mm -hmm. not a lot of trouble, you know, not that there wasn't crime. It was like any other town, I guess, sure. but mm -hmm. small things here or there. Like any good, uh, any good citizen, he decided to join uh, his local neighborhood watch. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and they said, no, George. Come on, dude. <laughs> Trayvon's been dead for 40 years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, know another, I know another one. I know another one. Fuck. <laughs> So there's this um, there's this woman. She's a she's a day trader in Manhattan. Uh -huh. It's 1980s. She's making a lot of money. A lot of cocaine those days. Uh -huh. Wall Street. Money never sleeps. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that was the sequel. It was just regular Wall Street. Okay. Uh -huh. She's a successful woman. She knows what she wants. She thinks she could have it all. But she doesn't have a lot of time in the day. One of her greatest joys is jogging. But she has to do it in the middle of the night. Through Central Park. Through Central Park. <laughs> a couple of uh, spooky characters. <laughs> had five spooky, <laughs> dark, and spooky it, <laughs> boys. Uh, boys, they were. <laughs> they raped her in the park. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not doing this game. <laughs> I got another scary story. Yeah. Uh, one time I was walking down the street. And this fucking dude came out of nowhere. So I had to call the police. And well, now he's dead. Uh, uh, boy, there was a, there was there was once old a neighborhood. And, uh, you know, a long time ago, it actually used to be pretty nice. But, uh, you know, time goes on. Things change. And... Uh, <laughs> There was, a, there was a specter, they say, a spirit mm -hmm. that had discount cigarettes. Ooh. 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 Scare yeah. everyone by selling those tax free cigarettes <laughs> mm. out of his backpack. Very Until scary. one day, yeah. some heroes were alerted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they found his weakness asthma. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. uh, All right, here's a scary story. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about this game anymore, guys. There's a. I think three's pretty good. <laughs> there's a boy. There's a boy who loved. Who. Who. Who Was wanted he, more than anything the toy to be in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight, but no, not as the Dark Knight, <laughs> <laughs> but as Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> they say if you go into that theater late at night, you can still hear um, him uh, saying, "You want to know how I got these scars." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, you want to know how I got these scars? My dad's dick <laughs> was this big. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I just love the idea of the dad popping that kid's face open with his with his it was dick. really hard, like that's, a huge dick. That's what happened to the Joker's face. <laughs> his dad, I was thinking he had a really his sharp dad dick. stretched the kid's dick out. Do you know what the <laughs> Chelsea smile is? Yeah, what? Yeah, so it's the, like the, the Sons football, of Anarchy guy. Football hooligans in England, like Chelsea supporters, no, apparently slit your fucking face Jeez. open. From the they cheek. put a credit card in your mouth and then they. Bang either side of your mouth. What the and fuck? And then it splits your cheeks up. And, oh. Yeah. And it's called the Chelsea Schmall. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Reese what? We do it for football teams. But, <laughs> Mark Dave Kane invented it. <laughs> That's Dave, what we do to get into Dave, acting. And Jason Statham did we, it too. We just beat up other men <laughs> to impress the football boys. <laughs> to impress we the think, young Italians. We think, <laughs> we think that the football boys will be proud of us. That's why I can be the best at wearing a scarf. <laughs> you know that Tottenham, their their like firm is called the Yids because they're like they have a lot of Jewish fans. Right. Yeah. And so people like at uh games they'll like Heil Hitler and they'd be like, Oi, go to the fucking ovens, you piece of shit. <laughs> and I think the, the supporters like wear cartoonish like oh, yeah, the yeah. fucking hat and the fucking payo, the yeah, curly yeah, yeah. shit. Like I think they, they <sighs> use Jews as like fucking mascots. It's hilarious. Like we do with the Native Americans. Whew, it's pretty good, man. Yeah. I'm pretty conscious, you know. Well that was the ghost stories that really saved it. I thought those um, were good those, those were, were really good spooky. Yeah. I feel like people love the impressions. Those are really spooky. The poorly stories. done impressions. <laughs> the impressions of it is DC fucking, local comedians. It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that we're friends with. <laughs> or actors from fifty years ago. Oh, those are good. I mean those are more I can't do those are Widely beloved anyway. characters. You can't do any? Start sucking my dick. <laughs> That's my Sinatra. Pretty good. It's all right. That's just sort of like a generic Start Italian Start eating my ass. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah. can you hear them, boys? Look at them. What are they saying? Oh, they're saying carpe diem. Make your suicide extraordinary. <laughs> That's what they're saying, boy. What if um, when they did the Oh, Captain, My Captain scene... Me and Norman were just talking about that movie the other day. What a shit movie. Uh, what a fucking awful it. movie. But about good, these like, the rich Dead boys Hose. that... Because, you know, it came out the year after Stand and Deliver. And right. they're like, yeah, that's a pretty good idea, but who cares about like Latino kids? What if it's like extremely <laughs> affluent white boys who don't know how they're going to spend their dad's money <laughs> and they're just kind of like lost? And then the tragedy is one of them doesn't get to be in the play, so he has to kill himself. <laughs> that's that movie I've never Yeah, it's about like a New oh, England yeah. prep school. It's New England prep yeah, school in the 50s. Hell. Yeah, they're all like a bunch of fucking rich kids and they're like, like after after rich boy school, father says I get to have my own boat. <laughs> I don't know where to go on my merry adventures in father's boat. I'm only allowed to stop wearing shorts at age 27 when then I'm able to kiss a debutante on the cheek, eventually losing my virginity at 47 years old to a woman of the age of 12. Also, it's uh, to a fully grown woman of the age of 8 years old. Did you like read She's the got half a titty and one pew. That makes her a grown woman up in old New England. <laughs> Did you guys read the, uh, like, the sort of homoerotic subtext of that movie, right? Um, Wasn't there, like, well, kind of... Mean, we first of all, it? there's a homoerotic there's subtext to wasps in general. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, those guys definitely kiss and fuck. Yeah, no, there's, there's an essay by... Um, uh, fucking uh, Teddy H. Roosevelt. H.P. Fagler? This yeah, H.P. Fagler. Essays? <laughs> this is an essay by Teddy Roosevelt about what makes a good boy a goody good boy. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous. It's, uh, grown men back then used to be obsessed with boyhood. Like, that's what the Boy Scouts yeah. came out of. It's mm. like, they have to be good goody boys who learn how to be good and just. And they wear shorts and we can see their legs. And when they bend over, we know they're good. And it's like this ridiculous essay say by him that I read a I can find it yeah I yeah. mean the, you even, find it even the Hitler youth you know yeah same thing same thing so your shorts. dog looked over when you said Hitler youth she was Whoa. looking out the window and then looked looked back when you mentioned Hitler youth. my you dog one more time my she, dog programming would have kicked in mm -hmm. my dog's uh Adam got the dog from the little Trump. rascals yeah <laughs> The one she that looks ended exactly up killing like Buckwheat. Dog. You know that's how that actor died? The pit no. bull on the show. No. 
Yeah, Tor's larynx out. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I mean, I wish. Yeah. That would have been so funny. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, the original Buckwheat. uh, I mean, they would have, back then, they would have been just as mad to have to replace the pit bull as a black child. Yeah. (laughs) Well, they replaced the fat boy, who was credited as the fat boy, (laughs) by the way. I remember we looked that kid up. He was Joe Cobb. Oh, he's hilarious. He's one of the funniest looking human beings of all time. And then, you know, he's a fat boy in the 1920s, so they would have to like put him in like a sailor's outfit with pigtails and a giant lollipop. Oh, that was the it. pedophile with a sense of humor. <laughs> was doing that. Uh, was this like, is it. The, the hair and makeup guy that was like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't related, but I just remembered when we were... Uh, we were joking around about how Clint Eastwood used a doll in an American Sniper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we were joking around that, like, the reason he used a doll was because the goddamn agency sent me some goo kids. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have these goo kids on my set. <laughs> Fucking Parkinson's shook the baby too hard. He killed nine babies. He killed nine yeah, babies. A bunch of crib deaths. <laughs> that shit is still like Don't you know who I am? I pretended I was in World War II <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he a stolen valor guy? I mean, no, if, if you look at movies. his career I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, movie. All yeah. actors are stolen valor guys It's true Because, you know, they have to believe it Partially because of the method acting thing But also because they want to believe it Like Mark Wahlberg, absolutely Oh, he thinks, thinks he's so cool <laughs> Yeah well, I mean, I'm he in. thinks he would have stopped 9 11. <laughs> he, he thinks he would have stopped Deepwater Horizon. Yeah. He but, already made that movie. Yeah. By kicking the, the pipe. Yeah. They're like, we need somebody to bench press the entire oil rig. And he's like, ah, you fucking gooks. Wait, you, know that, you know that him and Peter Berg made a fucking Boston bombing movie that. That came stopped. out. That came out like two months after the Deepwater Horizon movie. I think it's about what? to come out. Deepwater Horizon movie just came out. It just came out, and like literally, the Boston bombing movie is just about to come out. No, I haven't yeah. seen shit for that. And it's Peter Berg. It's the same director and Marky Mark. And what's he stopping the Boston bomb? Is it an alternate? It's about universe? how useless the police were. I don't know. Maybe try, it's maybe him going on Reddit and trying to figure yeah, out. He's one of the guys who's fucking. Oh yeah, him. that was such a fucking success. <laughs> How Reddit I love that so much. Yeah. And all those fucking Reddit retards are like, I really just love the power of this website and social media. <laughs> yeah. so you're fucking harassing some dead kid's yeah. family. <laughs> you fucking Indian cunt. <laughs> They're like, please stop going us. <laughs> Our son is not gone more than three weeks. They're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. We're making a joke, <clears throat> listeners, about, about how Reddit got the Boston Bombers I wrong. I they fucking know, dude. I don't know, man. I think they know. understand. Hey, what's up with that dude that's just going to fight the Twitter guy that's, like, in some kind of fucking army or some shit? Did you see that shit? Oh, oh yeah. yeah he, piss big granddad. What the fuck is up with that? Hey, join the YPG to fight for the Kurds. <laughs> that's, that's sick, dude. That's fucking crazy. Well, yeah. yo, honestly. He's get a shit split, right? He's fucked. I mean, maybe, maybe if not. If you're, honestly. I think, I, I heard if, he has some kind of military training. Oh, okay. And that picture he posted, he's got, like, a fucking puppy? dragon off. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's hooked up. That's, like, a heavy-duty, like, sniper rifle. Dude, those fucking, I'm scared of Kurds, though, dude. Why? They're fucking scary, dude. You're out in the Wait. fucking desert. No, shit. dude, the YPG are sick. They have yeah. like hot girls that are in the. I army. have seen some of those. Viral they're they're things. like the they're, they're like communist the vice Kurdish communist militia. Militia. No, no, they're cool. But who the fuck are they fighting? ISIS. Oh damn, dude, ISIS will fuck that. Yeah, they're up, mean to ISIS. It's cool. Yeah. Well, that's why the government. No, they're cool. Give but a shit. There was a kid that. Uh, what are you fucking doing? I'm taking a video of ISIS on the podcast. Sorry. You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. Who, me? <laughs> no, him. Yeah. Put your phone away. Put your fucking did, phone You didn't down. think that was going to be distracting? <laughs> it, I'm sorry. You, I just, you, Nick was saying there was a video. <laughs> and so you were taking a different video? <laughs> of, because he said the word video. Yeah. You decided to take a video. No, no because ISIS <laughs> looks cute right now. Adam, uh, si- sidebar. Can you make us Rice Krispie treats after this? 
That'd we could, tight. yeah, if you want to. That'd yeah, be tight as shit. we use, could do Rice Krispie treats. I want to use your roommate's uh, Vitamix to make Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> can you? you just can't clean it out. <laughs> so, no, just gunked up in there. Oh my bad, dude. I'll get you a new one. I <laughs> you Vitamix, dude. Oh shit, man. This costs as much as a Hyundai. <laughs> Michael Foodie was straight up depressed <laughs> because he like researched blenders for weeks and then got a Blendtec and then he decided after he bought a Blendtec that the Blendtec was the second best blender in the market behind but the Vitamix. The Vitamix is obviously the best blender. Yeah, he's like, I feel like the most pathetic guy in the world. It's so I have much the more second expensive best though, blender. I think it's maybe a $50 difference. I don't oh, think it's fucked the money that up, much. Dude. Nah, man. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a fully loaded Vitamix is $750. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Is that the shit that we just We don't have the fully loaded one. We have like a... You don't have the, the Herbie fully down. loaded one? Yeah. The 700 I don't know. It might be like six hundred bucks. Six ninety. Yeah, I have the seven hundred club edition. It's got Pat Robinson on there. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it tells you that uh, the terrorist attacks were caused by women taking birth controls. Yeah, that's what. Dude, I want to join the Kurd army. First of all, my parents would be so mad at me. Why? Because I Fighting was with Arabs? being in a Kurd army. And then second of all, they're hot girl soldiers. You should just go to the Israeli army, dude. I don't want to be in that one. That's the bad, that's a bad one. Yeah, but they got hot. I mean, but that's, you know. I don't want to. You got to be part of the, no. you're going to go against the Jews? No, if I'm in like the brave, like communist one against ISIS, that's, yeah, that's the idea cool. is cooler. The IDF fights children. I, yeah, I don't want to be like pointing a gun at a kid throwing a rock. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. You know, yeah, that's why they have the best snipers in the world. I think I made that joke. Because <laughs> they have to train for children. Because they have to. The you know how fucking hard it is to pick off uh, a six-year-old, two hundred yards. Good, good joke. Great joke. Um, Thanks. The Greek army is fucking hilarious, dude. It's just like you just, it's just naked wrestling. Still naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're still naked. Yeah, yeah. Years, yeah there's we, one gun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know what? They would probably actually win a ground war if, like, you know, the fucking let's say there was a war with Greece, yeah, and uh, like the Marines showed up and they're like, "Oh, we got to take this compound," and then a bunch of Greek dudes just ran out naked at them. They'd be <laughs> like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the yeah, fuck? What yeah. the fuck, dude? <laughs> Don't be gay at me!" <laughs> they just start then, shooting <laughs> themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kissing, mm-hmm. yeah. committing suicide. Yeah. <laughs> We've trained each other to fucking suck each other's dicks while doing cartwheels towards the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The Marines just call their wives in San Diego, just yeah. like I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna make wives it wives out of here. That are yeah. Most definitely fucking like a guy that works for UPS, oh, of course. <laughs> while they're over in Iraq, or he wherever. just don't talk to me. I, yeah. I I I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this one. There's so many, <laughs> there's so many Greek, so guys. many uncircumcised yeah. dicks that's getting the, sucked that's by men. That's the Marine special. You go to war and you come home and you marry a woman who looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they all get married quick as shit for like benefits or some shit. Uh, like if you have a wife, you get more or some shit. I think shit. it's PTSD, dude. I think they're think like, it's, well, it's time to have a family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Your, your best, your best pussy getting years, you know? Yeah, just waste. You got plenty of pussy getting years. You, can't, you just came home, you got your fucking. That's true. It does get easier. The older you get. Yeah, and you fucking, more you got cool stories and shit. Yeah, yeah it's true. Well, for guys like us, we get more attractive, the three of us. Shut but. the fuck up. You, you fuck. You, you I've just gotten considerably more attractive with each year. I don't know about it. Dude, you, Yeah, I have also. Nick has too. I mean, I, the only thing. You're cute, Technically, dude. yes, because the older the more like it's acceptable to look like shit the older you are so people stop expecting you to be yeah. fucking but mm. you you fuck you don't need to fuck it how much how much more attractive no, I, I look you're, bad it sucked dude, when I, I was fucking bad. like 20 and I look like I was 14 yeah yeah me too yeah, yeah. exactly yeah I suppose I looked bad at like 23 you know I just looked like a fucking I don't Child. think I look I look okay now But it's just only getting For better For some reason Bitches wanna fuck you Cause so of all those Annie Hall You know, <laughs> know Annie it sucks. Hall. I wish yeah, I had to fuck it It is It's the Annie Hall angle Yeah oh, All these fuck. girls that are like Oh my god You can You can fuck those <laughs> <laughs> You can fuck them fuck, dude I have to yeah. make a movie About fat guys fucking Dickfield uh, Cashes in on that too And he's not That's even I'm sure Dickfield yeah. Gets laid That's infuriating that. yeah. At least I'm he's not even Jewish I'm mad Only out of jealousy <laughs> But I am happy That you fuck Yeah I mean and Dickfield fucking off that I appreciate it Yeah I mean That's That's why Woody Allen Made movies So 
creeps could fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Woody, I love it. Man, fat Woody Allen. Allen. His girlfriend's literally seventeen years old. Yeah. <laughs> he plays an adult man. Like he's such a. In Annie incredible. Hall, there's a when when they when his friend is trying to convince him to move to L.A. He, one of his big selling points, like I slept with twins. They were sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're bragging about a threesome Listen, with high school sophomores. The times <laughs> were the different. Selling point. <laughs> the times were different. They were swinging. They were swinging. Uh, seven. <clears throat> That is, uh, yeah. you know, whatever. I mean, it's gross. You Wait, know? Nick, uh, you said he's bad? That's your take now? Who? Woody Allen, that it's bad? I think that's a cool take to have. No, no. I don't. Woody, bad in terms he's of not what? Bad. You're saying that it, you, his movies aren't very good. No, I'm not saying he's bad. I'm saying that he never really did anything for me. I did, yeah. I've never oh, yeah. really enjoyed Woody Allen. You know who really hated it? My friend Eric. Really? One time we put on, we put dude, on. Uh, he fucking sucks. Dude, we dude, put on. Gary, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we put on like Manhattan or something. Or and, why is this? Why is this tall bitch trying to fuck this nerd? Dude, he's like, <laughs> he's like, they're just. Oh, it's just like too much talking. Dude. <laughs> I don't know why these people. Why are doesn't he have a gun? <laughs> he should dude. have a gun. <laughs> dude, there's this bitch. Yeah. No, I mean, I, he just. It's like funny to me in a way that. You know, like it, it, it's just not funny to me. I mean, right. I, I get it, but it's, it doesn't make me laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what you mean. I mean, I liked it, but I remember I that I had my Woody Allen face when I was like sixteen or seventeen. Right. So I don't know if it's. I haven't it revisited. Up. You want to watch something soon? The the dramas are actually. I think I like good. Hannah and her sisters. Hannah and her sisters and Crimes and Misdemeanors, I think, are pretty good. Crimes and Misdemeanors is hilarious because it's a movie about a guy doing a horrible thing, yeah, yeah. getting away with it, and then just going about his life. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> gee, I wonder what you know this is about, a, Woody. <laughs> you know what's a better version of that? Uh, Bad Lieutenant Porter called the Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say that movie fucking rules. I haven't seen it. it. It's so good. That it's is so, much so the fucking original. good. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen the Harvey Keitel one. But, it's okay, but you it's can okay. see Harvey Keitel's dick in the in the original. Harvey Keitel tell us the worst actor in the he's world. Good. He's good. Really? No, he's Why? The most overrated actor. He's, I, I'll give you overrated, but he's not terrible. You're not gonna die. Say it with me. Hey. Actually, you know what Whoa, I do? <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I just saw Mean Streets and I was, <laughs> I love Mean Streets. <laughs> I thought it was a lot worse than I, oh, than I, than I was expecting. Yeah. Well, no. I saw, again, I saw it when I was 16. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that when I was 16, too. When I was yeah. a blockbuster. Or maybe I was 18. I was a blockbuster. But De Niro's employee. great, because De Niro's playing, like, a character. He's, yeah. like, actually, like, acting. Yeah, but Taxi know? Driver is so much fucking better than Mean Streets. Oh, sure, 100%. for sure. So if you have the choice between the two. I mean, King of Comedy, too. He's really fucking yeah, playing a character. Yeah, that's a different category, though. Of course, yeah. Uh, At this point, he just frowns. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's all he, gets, he does. He gets met. He's the parent that gets met. Yeah, he gets <laughs> met. Hey, fuck. Hey, hold on. He's also yeah. a dirty grandpa. I think they made analyze this, and then they were like, boom, well, analyze that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, we're analyzing over here. Yeah. Is the third one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm analyzing well, over here. I got some fucking analyzing for you, pal. <laughs> I'm talking about my dick. <laughs> That's the fourth one where it's uh, fucking, uh, who's, who's a fuck? Ray Leo. Is just uh, his character. They just recast. Yeah, I love in DVD when they go straight to DVD and it's just like uh, it's instead of Stifler, it's just another guy. Yeah, and they just did. Ray Liotta just shows up in weird shit now. Yeah, every once in a while, Ray, Ray Liotta's got the weird. He his laugh is the worst laugh of all time. Like that that almost ruined Goodfellas for me yeah. the first time I saw it because I, I saw Goodfellas was for whatever reason really late and I was like and it, obviously it's a fucking great movie it's but I'm fucking but yeah. he's just he's just like uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. like his laugh he just can't laugh all the acting ability he has is com the laugh is completely lost my friend whose grandfather was Cleveland Jewish Mafia knew Henry Hill that was his name Cleveland, Cleveland Jewish, Jewish Mafia? Mafia that was his first was he middle th last was he, is that a group an offshoot of 3-6 Mafia yes uh, <coughs> yes there is there's a Jew Project Mafia Hattie. you know what I've always wanted to be there's uh, a Jew Mafia what are you talking uh, about in Cleveland though oh in Cleveland yes like Cleveland. I would I would I've always wanted to be a Kansas City businessman <laughs> you know who's Cleveland <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chef Boradie what do you mean? Chef Boyardee's from Cleveland. <laughs> there are a lot of Italians in Cleveland. Yeah, what? Chef Boyardee actually used to be a real guy. He probably yeah. doesn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the 50s, he was like a TV guy. Really? Chef Boyardee, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Huh. Cleveland. 
His name was Chef Boyardee. Yeah. That's such a fucking dumbass name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Dom, I'm Tom yeah. Boyardee. <laughs> what's, what's better, Guy Fieri? Yeah, yeah. Boyardee is pretty yeah. garbage. Boyardee's yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. That sounds like a cartoon's name. Yeah, it's probably some French bullshit. Yo, shout out to Cl- the city of Cleveland, Northeast Ohio. Cleveland rocks, Cleveland rocks. <clears throat> Drew Carey must be so stoked with these Cleveland Indians in the series and LeBron getting his ring last night. <laughs> wow, what a time. Adam's News Corner. This is Adam's <laughs> News Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Northeast sports. Ohio, in sports. Adam's gay again. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland. I want rocks. the Cubs to win though. Don't you want the fucking? Who cares about Cleveland? Cleveland sucks. Well, yeah. Now I'm rooting for the Cubs because Marty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Marty doesn't even like sports, dude. That's what is Marty an Indians fan? Well, he's from, yeah, he's a Cleveland sports fan. Is he from Cleveland? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. he. Spent some time there. Yeah, his favorite um, show is just the Drew Carey show. Of course. That is I've good- analyzed every episode, and if you do the math, <laughs> it is technically the best sitcom of all time. <laughs> Did we already joke about how Mimi is the first Tumblr girl? Yeah, yeah I said uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said that for sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking yeah. bitch Mimi. Yeah, no, Trump uh, already <clears throat> was real. Um uh, and there was apparently Jews in Cleveland that were in the mafia. There was a Cleveland Jewish mafia. Well, what I was going to say is, have you ever seen the original Aunt Jemima? <laughs> no. <laughs> Racist, dude. Uh, On the bottle? That's hilarious. No, it was an actual woman. She she was in black. It was like a 500-pound black woman. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. every every black woman in uh, so you know, was Uncle Ben, right? Yeah, well, Uncle Ben was supposed to be a slave, Jesus and then the people Christ. petitioned the company to change it, and the company was like, "What?" <laughs> uh, and they finally changed it in like 2012. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't Kentucky gentlemen doesn't that still have a slave? I don't giving know, the ma- it's like the fucking on the lowest bottle? grade whiskey there is. Yeah, yeah it's and bad. I think he just has like a slave giving the master a bottle of, of whiskey, and I think that's still the fucking shit. It's a whiskey. It was definitely that way in college because my dumb racist friend showed it to me. Like, isn't this fucking hilarious? <laughs> like, it's like finally we still get some fun stuff, and it's like, no, this is. You can't fucking do this. <laughs> he just thought it was it's the best history, shit dude. ever. That's how you used to get your whiskey. You'd have. <laughs> You have old indoor Jimmy bring it to you. <laughs> Do we talk about this already? I was talking about this with my friend Max the other day, but about how um, Trump said that um, Clinton is the is the most violent to women out of any president <laughs> of all time, and we were just joking around about how like. Thomas Jefferson, like, yeah, raped, literally <laughs> raped his property yeah. multiple times. He created a last name. Yeah. It's like the most popular black last name. Hemings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he repeatedly raped yeah. his human property, brought her to France so he could yeah. keep raping her. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just like thinking about how hey, many, pretty, how many black people have the same last up. name as the founding fathers. And yeah. it's like, <laughs> whoa. Oh, the Jeffersons. Yeah, yeah. Jefferson and like, Washington I'm Letitia State. Washington. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. Um, my name's, uh, Tanisha John Quincy Adams. <laughs> 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 Tanisha Quincy Adams. Yeah. yeah. Uh, LeJohn, uh, <laughs> Quin- Quinchita. <laughs> yeah, Jackson was literally just a, an absolute monster. Yeah, he was. Yeah. A, but didn't. And it's like one of the most popular. Have Michael Jackson, if it weren't for no, Michael Jackson. He wouldn't. Had he not. Uh, Did we talk about how my favorite president is uh, Zachary Taylor? Why? Did he the die? star president. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up? I'm President Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach Taylor. Yeah, I'm in middle school. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning how to skateboard. My mom says I can get my ear pierced next year. <laughs> you could also do that with the Canada guy, uh, Trudeau. Yeah. yeah. What's up? I'm Prime Minister Justin. <laughs> yeah, Justin. Well, he is good. like that, though. There's He's a fun, dude yeah. named Justin that's the head of a country. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he's still somehow the second most important Justin in Canada mm-hmm. behind Justin Bieber. Nice. Nice. <laughs> cool. That's Adam's News Corner <laughs> Adam's News for the week. Frank. Yeah. Guess what, what guys? Is that Nixon's middle name was Milhouse. Milhouse, awesome. yeah. Which I know the Simpsons Fucking came Simpsons. after that, but <laughs> yeah. that's such a... 
Stupid sounding name. Dick Millhouse. Wait, Dick. Harry S. Truman's middle name was just S. Yeah, I know. It, yeah. was, sh- it was actually it Schlong. No, it didn't say it for anything. Harry Schlong. Yeah. It was just a letter. It was like Homer J. Simpson. It literally yeah. was just a letter? It was just a letter. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you give your fucking it Sounds name? better than Harry Truman. You remember those like terrible yeah, years? presidential. And like... Seasons like 13, 14, 15. Oh, Simpsons? Where like every episode was like, and we're going to reveal a new piece of trivia for this show. Right, right. Like, right. The whole plot. Like, where like Smithers comes out of the closet and shit. Yeah, and, like, that kind of, when they killed Maud. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, a lot of people say that the turning point for that show was the principal and the pauper, where you find out that Principal Skinner is actually Armin Tanzarian. Oh, right, right, right. But that does have that great line in it. Uh, Up yours, children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode, but I, I don't. I I wouldn't. I don't remember. Fucking, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah, I don't fucking remember. Um, and this is the beginning of the end of the podcast. Is it? How long yeah. have we done? Uh, Forty nine minutes. Nice. All right. Okay, Eleven that's more. Good. Put your fucking phone away before Jesus I suck your Christ. dick. What the fuck do you need to look at your phone for, Adam? I got a text from who? No one. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna she's take gonna your hear shit. That. She's gonna hear that you said that later. Whoever this no one bitch is. Yeah. <laughs> is it from fucking uh, Phil? Where the fuck are our PlayStations? Dude, I tried out that PlayStation VR today. Oh. And I tell you, it's exactly like wearing a TV on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Isis. Fucking gay ass dog. <clears throat> um, dude, yeah, uh, we talked about this off mic, but boy, I tried the, the other one, the. Uh, the Samsung shit, and someone put porn on it. That shit was so awful. Dude, just some fat titties in your face. I legit was going to cream my jeans, dude. Straight up, no touching needed. And I think that's the hey, future of prostitution. Do- Is that possible, hands-free ejaculation? Dude, I don't know. I think so. I think with this shit it is. I've never been guys that, is, yeah. that horny. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're no. like fat or you're... No. Or. If anything, it's harder because we have more testosterone. One time my friend... Your thighs are basically like a big pussy. <laughs> I went on a camp. Your body is just <laughs> a big fat pussy. Yo, I wish I could fuck my thighs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but just look like you're trying to do a hula hoop. <laughs> One time I went on a camping, camping trip with that. my friends and uh, my friend borrowed my other friend who didn't come with us as uh, sleeping bag and he slept naked in his sleeping bag and had a oh, wet dream oh, <laughs> that hell night. Yeah. So he's like, dude, don't say anything. I'm just going to give it back to him. Oh. Yeah, it's disgusting. Why That's did he sleep <laughs> naked? Why I don't know. know. It's already <laughs> fucked up. Sleep naked in someone's sleeping bag. A, that's fucked bag. up. Yeah, and then B, he, he jizzed. He's like, he like, my man, my man like, said I got a bust I got to do. <laughs> also, what the I'm fuck? I'm taking one to have a sleepy time bus. <laughs> <laughs> he was with, it was just a sleepover? That's what no, I like no, to imagine. I like to imagine in the Matrix when like, like Neo's waking up in that tube that's just all cum because think of how many times he beat off in the Matrix and he's like waking up he's like oh because you notice there's no tube in his dick that's so he's just coming in there and he's like oh God, I'm fucking 35 years in nothing every time you've ever ejaculated it happens in the Matrix he stays in that body the machines are like yeah that's fucking gross we don't touch that shit these stupid humans yeah. It's like waking up. If you die in the Matrix, do you bust here? <laughs> and Morpheus is wiping cum off his mouth. He's like, oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really think that's cum you're drinking? <laughs> Damn, Joey Pants was such a fucking villain in that movie. Yeah, I love Joey Pants, dude. Ralphie Sopranos. Yeah. We gotta have. He a was a great. Ralphie yeah, he episode. was a great character. All right, well, that's the episode. So, was it? Yeah, 52 minutes. I guess we could talk. <laughs> we could another talk day. another fucking couple. It really doesn't fucking matter, dude. <laughs> Nobody actually listens to the podcast. Yeah, you guys yeah. don't understand how podcasts work. People subscribe to them, they listen to one or two episodes, and they go, great job on, on your podcast or whatever. Oh, really? So that you'll book them on your show. Uh, you want a successful podcast? You're on a show that runs once every six months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, once every month. Thank you, everybody who came out, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. That we was had a fun, fun. one. Yeah, <clears throat> to it was mostly Come Town fans. Yeah, shout out. That so was a fun one. That was great. We got another one coming up. Uh, fucking when is it? Uh, I think it's the fourth Monday of this month. We'll announce it on the podcast. Okay, so which might one. actually be Thanksgiving weekend. That I don't sucks. know. If that's Can we get good. it earlier? Or? I'll email the guy. Um, 
Thank, thank you for thank, having Thanksgiving. Yeah, and if... Uh, <laughs> Can I make a racist at the end? Yeah, 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 that's good. Thank, and if, thank and you, you guys, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and if you guys couldn't make it to know. our... I just want to make fun of Indian guys. If you guys couldn't make it to our live show, Nick uploaded it as a preview episode, so you can subscribe and listen to it there. That's yeah. a plug yeah. for the premium. May plug. or may not be doing that in the future, but I'm telling you, you sign up for those premium accounts. We got all sorts of bonus stuff, and it's not just going to be that bullshit thing where we videotape ourselves podcasting for some reason. Because <laughs> you want to see four guys with bad posture and baseball hats <laughs> hunched around microphones. <laughs> because that's all, that's all podcasts are, guys. I don't know why you're watching video subscription stuff. <laughs> yeah. Norm does that. And it's, and it's Every single good. podcast does that. A video podcast yeah. for premium? Yeah. I think some people Look. just do it to do it. How much is Artie's podcast a month? It's, in, it's a lot. How much? I, don't, I think it's at least like. Ten bucks <laughs> <laughs> for Artie's podcast. I swear to God. Yeah, and yeah. how many does he come out with? Like, I don't know, a bunch. I think just once a week. I, I, but I have no fucking idea. I mean, that I guy remember is so funny. whatever the number was. I remember being like, "God damn!" But whatever, man. He's good. Remember when he went Artie, on that rant about the the black the black uh, of course yes. woman from we've talked about it. Samantha Sage Steele. We've yes. talked about it. Oh, yeah, yeah we have. Okay, exactly. In an early in an earlier app. Mm, okay. Quite an early app. You know what I'm excited for? The Macy's Day Parade. Uh, are we going to go? all those gay floats? They're like, they're, all oh. floats are gay now this year. What? What? Yeah. Even Pikachu? Why? To celebrate de Blasio's interracial de Blasio, relationship. It's Blasio, dude. That's what I was <laughs> saying. They said, they said was one, no Irish allowed, two, everything's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next step, they're going to cancel St. Patty's Day Parade, or as I like to call it, the White Pride March. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's end this podcast with me apologizing for a bad. Am I gonna have to? Am I gonna have to save this one with a riff? No, 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 <laughs> Tell us a scary story. There was a kid that used to do tap dancing that everyone beat up all the time <laughs> when I was a kid. That's pretty, That's funny. pretty funny. Yeah, he was like really into tap dancing and he thought it was cool and then he got the shit beat out of him like every Friday. <laughs> Like what? He just waited for him to come out of school and <laughs> yeah. they just kicked him. I never did him. it. Yeah, but yeah, no, he got beat up pretty often. <laughs> Because of tap dancing, <laughs> like I love how that was just like better not do anything gay or you'll get beat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> people yeah. just choose to beat you Remember up. Remember when yeah. they tried to make tap dancing cool again for a minute, where they're no. like black guys with dreads do it? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. The they do that with the electric violins every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone like doing like they're like, oh, you could do it over rap music. Yeah, exactly. It's, cool. <laughs> it's like they'll do like a young tap thug dancing song. is literally bullshit. It's so it's bullshit. the kazoo of uh, of performance dancing. art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it really should have died, and it's uh, I guess they make Although kids do it. Now. Uh, uh, what's the fucking what's the James Cagney movie where he plays the president? Uh, Scarface. Yeah, Scarface. <laughs> where he's tap dances down the stairs. <laughs> As the president? Uh, Wait, yeah. James Cagney could dance? Uh, yeah, everybody back then could Yeah, you dance. had to dance, dude, to be in show business. Yeah, you had to be dancing. That's a fucking... And how much more and talented people sing. were yeah. than we are? Dude, <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Like, I can't the, sing the at shit all. shit Gene Kelly could do, he could, like, tap dance and roller skates <laughs> yeah, while, like, singing. Yeah. And then it'd be, like, a fucking 19-minute long yep. continuous shot of him Incredible. hitting every note yeah. and, like, spinning around a light post. Yeah. And he's Have like, you seen Singing in the Rain? I'm gay <laughs> when it's cloudy. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, like, that scene in Singing in the Rain where he's dancing... Uh, he's wearing a wool suit, and they're make they have like fake rain, mm-hmm. and they said by the end of that scene, his suit like weighed like two hundred pounds. Yeah, <laughs> so he was like just dancing incredibly. Yeah, hard. yeah, yeah. No, it's it's crazy how talented people used to be, and now the fucking shitheads all over Brooklyn go into open mics, and they're like, so. Yeah, maybe like don't be disrespectful to women. And they're like, yeah, I'm an artist. Fucking, things are gonna happen for me in comedy. Yeah, my you body know, sucks, dude. I'm actually, I, oh, I've yeah. been eating so much food, and my body sucks. And sometimes I'm just like pizza, and then like tacos, and like, <laughs> oh god, man. Yeah, so I'm on Tinder. I know everybody has a fucking Tinder bit, but shit, man. 
fucking sucks. Dude. <laughs> so, oh, this is the light? All right. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I saw this guy on the subway the other day, and he was like, fucking, he looked like he was like beating off, and then I got closer, and he was just, he was trying to eat a sandwich because he was homeless. I thought that was funny. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's the best. That needs an end, but it's good. Yeah. Um, but you know what I'm getting at. Yes, yeah, all these fucking shitheads that think there's still an end in sight when it comes to stand up, and there isn't. You got a podcast. You got a podcast. You got to be a motherfucking podcast boy, dude. And just a <laughs> start a podcast. podcast. You befriend Lewis. <laughs> you go do Lewis's podcast. <laughs> try out PlayStation VR. <laughs> you drink a bunch of free coffees at that guy's apartment. <laughs> you come and do your podcast. You spread internet rumors about Lewis. You spread internet rumors about Lewis. <laughs> Take down his podcast. <laughs> you claim it for yours. Right. To you, take his you podcast, start, combine you start it with your personal podcast. wars with your mail carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is mad at the USPS I'm right now. I'm constantly mad at the Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm, oh I filed like God. nine complaints you're, about them. Oh, you're the guy that files official complaints. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It doesn't do anything. It dude, does that, nothing, I, it obviously. Does, yeah. I, no, it's the same thing as those like crosswalk buttons that are like yeah. pressed to walk. Yeah, yeah, it does <laughs> nothing. All that button is is like, it should, instead. Instead of just press to walk, it should just say, that's what I should have said. And then you fucking hit that, and then you get to imagine an argument where you weren't a fucking idiot from like two years ago. It's just for powerless people to feel like they have some kind of control over their life. If you had any real power, you wouldn't be walking, you fucking schmuck. That's true. And oh, that, my God. Can I, one, one thing, you know that my, my friend's girlfriend that was like, um, I love Game of Thrones so much because it's like yeah, being yeah. part of a movement. Oh. And so she she had another really good one last week. She was like, um, she loves Hamilton. Oh. Like she like tried to put it on like when we were just chilling, like in a social circumstance. She's oh. like, do you guys mind if I put on the Hamilton soundtrack? Oh. And I'm like, no, did, please don't. And so <laughs> yeah. she was like, um, she was like, guys, I'm really upset because Lin Manuel from Hamilton, his joy in life used to be riding the New York City subway system and he can't do it anymore because he's too rich and famous. <laughs> what what kind of subhumans of New York bullshit is that? Oh, Isn't that my. the most infuriating thing you've ever what heard? What are you That's talking awful. about? Oh my God, this rich guy doesn't have to ride the train. He doesn't have to sit everywhere. next so to... So famous people ride the fucking train all, all the, the time. time. All the time. I saw I Helen a, Mirren on the train I'm the other day. I next to Nick Offerman for like fucking nine stops. Hamilton he guy thinks directly, he's too yeah. big for the MTA. That's yeah. funny. B, the fact that she is yeah. sad about it. Well, a bunch of fucking <laughs> assholes, a bunch of people like her would accost him if he was ever on the subway. Yeah. That's the truth. She's the reason he can't ride the subway. Listen, he took the experience of, of sitting I would next love, to I would love to be drunk on the train with Lin-Manuel. <laughs> hey, Jefferson, motherfucker! <laughs> Woo! I'm Thomas Jefferson. And this is my dance. I pulled my hand down my pants, motherfucker. That's you, right? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey, come here, asshole. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what a fun riff to end. Fuck Hampton. 1776, bitch. Thank right. you for listening to Come Town, everyone. Goodbye.